Hello there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the loopylamb.com and thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. Today's tutorial, I wanna show you how to do the half double crochet join. It's also called the standing half double crochet. This is an excellent uh, way to join your yarn to in order to eliminate the need for a slip stitch as well as a turning chain, making your work less bulky and giving you a much cleaner join. It's really simple, it's a very slight variation and once you get used to doing it, you'll totally be hooked. So to follow along with today's tutorial, you're going to need your project, or for me, I have a swatch, any sort of um, project or, or piece of fabric that you need to join to that's crocheted. You're going to need the yarn that you want to join with. I'm using this King Cole Aran uh, Acorn Aran yarn, and you're going to need a crochet hook in the size that you need for your crochet project or a size that works with your yarn. I'm using this uh, H or five millimeter uh, Borealis streamline hook from Furls Crochet. So let's clear up my workspace here and let's get started learning how to do the standing half double crochet. To start the standing half double crochet, you're going to need to start with a slip knot. And so I've got my yarn here that I'm wanting to join to my project here. And this is the King Cole Acorn Aran yarn I'm using. And I'm just going to create a slip knot. So holding onto the tail end of the yarn, I'm going to wrap the yarn around my fingers. And when I get to the front, I'm gonna cross it over itself to create an X. Then I'm gonna flip my hand over, bringing the yarn with me and pinning it down between my middle and ring fingers. Take your crochet hook, slide it under the first strand, over the second, and then pull that second strand out and under the first, and then transfer it all off of your fingers and onto the hook. So we're going to start by, with our slip knot on our hook, and then we're going to yarn over the hook like so. Right? And this is before we even get our swatch involved. So you're gonna take your finger and hold the slip knot and the yarn over down and secured onto your hook. Now we're going to bring in the swatch. So dependent on where you need to join your yarn, I'm just gonna pick any stitch here and I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch I want to join in. Now I'm still holding onto that yarn over and the slip knot so they're not going anywhere. So I've got my working yarn behind my hook and we've inserted it into the stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. So now I've got three loops on my hook and I'm going to yarn over hook again and pull through all three loops on my hook and there you have it. There's your half double crochet, it's standing. You don't have that messy uh, additional bulk of the slip knot and the chain. You just have a half double crochet. And you can substitute this anywhere in the pattern where it says join new yarn and just say stitch three and half double crochet in the same stitch. You can just literally substitute the standing half double for that. Or if you need to, um, you want to eliminate say a turning chain. All right, so I'll show you that one more time. Let's pull this out. So I've got my slip knot on my hook and then I'm going to yarn over my hook, okay? So I've got my yarn over on my hook and I'm going to take my finger and hold both my yarn over and my slip knot still, okay? Now I'm gonna bring in my swatch and insert my hook into wherever I'm needing to join and inserting it into the stitch. Still holding that yarn over in the slip knot. Then I'm going to yarn over hook and pull up a loop. And at this point, you should have three loops on your hook. And you can see that I'm holding the tail end of my yarn here with my thumb, which helps it uh, prevent it from rolling around and losing that yarn over. So then I'm going to yarn over hook and pull through all three loops. And there you go, that's your standing half double crochet. Now you can use this as a joining stitch to join two pieces of fabric together. And now dependent on the instructions, like if you're joining granny squares, for instance, you might be having to do this in like a back loop only or a front loop only dependent on your instructions. But let's just say we just want to join these two edges of fabric together to close my piece. And we're gonna use half double crochet to add a fun border. So I've got my slip knot here, 
doing my yarn over on my hook and holding it in place with my finger. And then because I've got two pieces of fabric here, I'm going to line up my stitches and I'm going to insert my hook through the stitches that line up on both sides and I'm going to do it through both sides, both stitches. So here's my first stitch going through my second stitch here on the other side of the fabric, grabbing my working yarn, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. All right, and then we've got the three loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And there's my half double crochet. And then if I wanted to just do that half double crochet border I was mentioning, I would just go ahead and half double crochet along my piece, working through both sides of the fabric or both edges until I was happy with what I had there, right? So we've got a bunch of half double crochets there, right? And then it's a nice clean join and no at excess bulk. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. If you like free crochet patterns, which I know you do, head on over to my blog, theloopylam.com. Thanks so much for watching friends. Happy hooking and I'll see you next time.